If you're writing CSS that uses shorthands like this, you may be introducing yourself to potential bugs. For example, if you try to override like the background image or the padding left and we save, you'll notice none of these changes take effect. And that's because if we look at this background, for example, the shorthand sets our background image to initial. So when we try to override it up here, it's getting overridden by this background property down here. Now we can fix this by, for example, moving our background image after our background. Now this is really easy to do if it's all in the same selector, but if you're separated into a separate selector, you're going to notice we have the exact same issue, and that's because this selector is less specific than this one up here. Now to get around this, we can change our background here to a background color, and now everything's going to work fine because none of those default values are being set. We have the same issue here of padding left. We're using this default padding, setting the left and right to zero, which is overriding this one REM. To fix this, all we would need to do is specify our padding top and bottom individually and not use the shorthand. Now, sometimes shorthands are really useful though, for example, when you're using border, because almost always you want to put the border on all the sides and not just one of the sides. 